Now, in commemoration of the International Day for Cultural Diversity, a non-governmental organization with the support of UNESCO has held a discussion to address the challenges faced by those living with disabilities. In this report, Plus TV News correspondent Emmanuel Olubobokun looks into the setback faced by PWDs in the area of funding. People living with disabilities have always been looked down on and neglected, as many see them as weaker vessels. Though with modernization, those with disabilities are now being noticed and even recognized by what they are able to accomplish despite our situation. In commemoration with the International Fund for Cultural Diversity, a non-governmental organization with the support of UNESCO holds these discussions to address the challenges faced by those living with disability in the area of market accessibility. The essence of this uh, activity is for us to see how we can be able to promote to improve this market access, including both the public and the private sector. Uh, we believe that uh, the, within the entire ecosystem, uh, people with disabilities are marginalized, even though we have uh, great names and we have huge potentials among us. Uh, people like uh, Kobam Sasuko, uh, Yuka Yefele. Kobam has one of the best studios in West Africa. Yes, that alone is enough to ensure that people with disabilities are included you know, in, the, in the value chain. Funding indeed is a key factor in achieving profit in business. As such, it must be looked into both by private and public sectors. The government also has a role to play in assisting those living with disabilities. In the public sector, what is the government doing in terms of carrying these people along? We are talking about inclusion, and in inclusion, even on the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disability, it gives the opportunity for persons with disability to be included in all facets of life. Uh, many people in the, in the arts community um, as a whole don't really know how to access funding. So it really is about educating um, people how to access funding, what funds are available, um, and also where there are actually, um, there's, there's help available. So many people don't know that if you're physically challenged that you can apply for funding even to help you complete your funding application. So I think knowledge is very, very key in terms of how to access. Those living with disability are encouraged not to look down on themselves but be confident and make the best use of their potential. I think that the most important thing is mindset and I think that's for anybody whether you've got physical challenge or not. Um, it's the people who have a resilient mindset, the people who are um, learners, always learning, teaching themselves. Um, and the people who make connections that succeed. And I believe that those three have nothing to do with whether you're or not you're physically challenged. Living with disability does not mean that life has ended. However, developing potential is indeed a necessity and the government must also play its part in encouraging them. <laughs> Emmanuel Ulububukum, Lost of the News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.